I think there's been several interesting takeaways today. Uh, it was interesting to hear our tax minister talking about the whole government approach to this. I think that was quite impressive. And then I think also the kind of discussion we had in relation to maybe the Nordics or Northern Europe is, is quite far ahead, but we're still not that far. For me, that was interesting to get some new perspectives on. I think the, the in the current uh, stage, we actually see a rising interest uh, among our customers for ESG-related issues. But I think it's also fair to say that it's relatively new. It's kind of an extra factor to take into consideration as an investor, and it's also a little complex. So we definitely see rising interest, but there's still quite a long way to go to get it fully into all the investment decisions of our customers, I would say. Part of it is that the, it's a lot in the media uh, and everybody can relate to what you're reading in the newspaper, what you're seeing on the news on the telly, uh, that kind of thing. And I think it resonates very well with uh, a lot of our customers also. So the interest is definitely there. I think quite a lot of things will happen in, in the coming period for retail investors. I think interest is growing the information provided is, is growing and I think we will see it going a lot more into actual investment decisions as possibilities arise. And then also I think we have new EU regulation coming. So, so for instance, in our digital advisory processes, we will have ESG integrated into that within the next coming years. That will be major steps forward.